Good day, hi, I'm Sir Ronnie Dano and I will be your teacher for this video lesson. Our topic for this video is minerals and rocks. For today's lesson, our objectives are describe the properties of minerals and identify the types of rocks based on how different they form. Every all of us uses products made from minerals every day. The salt that we add to our food is the mineral halide. Antacid tablets are made from minerals calcite. The cars that we drive, the roads that we travel, the buildings that we live in, and the fertilizer used to produce our food are all made using minerals. What is minerals? Minerals is natural occurring in organic elements or compound have a definite chemical composition and crystalline structure. Minerals can be described by its chemical property and physical property. The chemical properties of minerals show the identity of the minerals. Mineral can distinguish either silicate or non-silicate. Silicate is the minerals that have a silicon as a main component. Non-silicate do not have a silicon. Instead, minerals composed of any of these oxides, sulfates, sulfides, carbonates, halides, and native elements. The physical properties of minerals determine the characteristics or the physical appearance of minerals by its color, luster, fracture, cleavage, and hardness. The color of minerals come in many different colors, from color red, blue, yellow. The luster is the intensity of reflected light exhibited by minerals. Take a look to the example image below. Transparent, translucent, opaque, metallic. These are some common examples of luster of minerals. Fracture is the tendency of minerals to break an evenly or irregular surface. The cleavage is the tendency of minerals to break along flat surface. Hardness is the resistance of minerals. To manually test how dense the minerals is, we need to scratch the minerals by the use of the following materials, like iron nail, copper coin, knife, and glass slide, and we can use our fingernails too, and rate the resistance from 1 to 10 using the more hardness scale. The number 10 is the hardest kind of minerals. Example of this is diamonds. Let us describe the properties of this sample specimen, the physical properties and the chemical properties of quartz. On the physical properties, the color is white, luster, transparent, fracture, irregular shape, cleavage is not exhibit, hardness, the resistant rate is 7. The chemical properties of quartz, the main component is silicate. Now, let us focus more on rocks. What is rocks? Rocks are mixtures or aggregates of different minerals. They are divided into three categories based on how different rocks are formed. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks derive from Latin word ignis meaning fire. These types of rocks form from solidification of molten rock material, magma or lava. Here, we have two kinds of igneous rocks, extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks, sometimes called volcanic igneous rocks, is a lava that solidifies at the Earth's surface. It is cooled quickly and forming tiny crystal. Example, obsidian. Intrusive igneous rocks, sometimes called plutonic igneous rocks. Magma solidify below the surface of earth and it cools slowly and forming large or visible minerals. Example, granite. Sedimentary rocks, the simple process on how sedimentary rocks are formed is the entrance of weathering and erosion. The weathering and erosion is generally transform boulders and even mountains turn into sediments such as sand and mud. Through the help of process of deposition, these pieces of sediments such as sand, pebbles, mud, shells, and remains of living organisms will compact and cement together over time and it will be hardened into a rock. 
we have three kinds of sedimentary rocks. Here are the following. Chemical sedimentary rocks, plastic sedimentary rocks, and organic sedimentary rocks. Chemical sedimentary rocks form when water with dissolved minerals evaporates. The left behind minerals will crystallize. Example is halides or rock salt. Plastic sedimentary rocks form from broken fragments of pre-existing rocks and minerals. Example is conglomerate rock. Organic sedimentary rocks form from accumulation of plants and animal remains. A good example of this is limestone. Metamorphic rocks is the combination of rock types, either igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic rocks form when minerals with rocks are changed underground by extreme heat and pressure. This process that change the minerals inside the rocks are called metamorphism. We have two kinds of metamorphism. The regional metamorphism that create foliated metamorphic rocks and contact metamorphism that create non-foliated metamorphic rocks. The regional metamorphism caused by intense pressure provided by two plates colliding together through converging plate boundaries. Because of that intense pressure, the existing layers of rocks are trapped at the middle. Then the rock will metamorphosize and turn into foliated metamorphic rocks. A contact metamorphism involved when the existing rocks coming in contact with extreme heat provided by the intruding magma. When the rocks exposed with extreme heat, it will be burned and the inside mineral will change, then the result is forming of non-foliated metamorphic rocks. Here is the summary for this video lesson. Minerals is naturally inorganic elements or compound have a definite chemical composition and crystalline structure. Minerals can be described by chemical property silicate and non-silicate and minerals can be described by physical property by its color luster fracture cleavage and hardness rocks are mixtures or aggregates of different minerals there are three types of rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks are formed from molten rocks that solidify there are two kinds of igneous rocks extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks sedimentary rocks form from sediments there are three kinds of sedimentary rocks the chemical sedimentary rocks the plastic sedimentary rocks and organic sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks are formed when the minerals with rocks are changed underground by extreme heat and pressure there are two kinds of metamorphic rocks foliated metamorphic rocks and non-foliated metamorphic rocks For your assessment, identification, read and answer carefully each item, from item 1 to item 5. For your assignment, read and study about exogenic processes.